Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So we just finished a 360 video example, so you can actually jump in and play a 360 video around you. But I was asked how you could do that with a 2D, a 2D video, which you maybe press a button to play for like a, a TV or something. So I thought we would go through and set that one up now. And the first thing we're going to do is find some space. And we're going to do basically the same as what we did in 360 video. We're actually going to add and import our new video into here. So I'm gonna, cause we need to keep everything. So we're gonna need to keep everything in the main folder for the movies. But um, something I wanted to tell you in advance is I do already have a system set up where I can interact with widgets and blueprints and stuff in this scene. So if you wanna see how to do that, I'll link a video up in the top right and I recommend doing that first. Otherwise you probably won't be able to press any of the buttons that we create. So first thing we need to do is we're going to go to movies and in here, we just want to open up the folder itself. So I'm just going to go show in Explorer just so we can see what's in here. And you can see it's the same as the other one. We've got our 360 video. So I need to add one in here and the video I'm going to add is just one from the last, from the tutorial actually. So the one I've just finished up. So let me find it. So I'm going to paste in a video here so how to put 360 videos onto your oculus quest and now we can actually go to import content movies where it's located and then search for that file and you'll see that we've got it in the scene we're going to do the exact same thing we're going to open it up we are going to create a reference to this so we're going to copy our location or file path we're going to go to pre-cache file and then because we're still targeting the oculus quest we're going to go to android and then media for android media hit save and we're going to go to edit project settings and we'll go to packaging and in here we're going to do the same thing specific movies to package we'll paste in our link to our to our movie and in this case we don't need another level so we should be good to go so first thing we're going to want to do is set up a blueprint, which is going to have our plane or video in it, which is essentially going to be where our TV would be. So we're going to right click, we're going to go blueprint class, actor, we're going to tell us BP underscore TV. Now in here, we're going to open it up and we're going to create a plane. So search plane. And we're also going to search for a media sound which just check the hierarchy, yep, it's gonna be a child because what we wanna do is move this blueprint and then have this change its location. And I'm actually gonna rotate this around just so we can see it a little bit better once we drag into the scene. And I'm gonna try and roughly match it up to our video ratio. You can scale this separately as you need in a minute. I'm gonna move this over to the side. And now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna select our 2D video. So this is our file media source here. I'm going to right click and I'm actually going to create a media player. So I'm going to right click, go to media, media player, select video output media texture file or texture asset. And we'll call this MP for media player. Um, how to put 360 video on quest. It doesn't have to be the whole thing just so we know which one it is. And you'll see that now we've got our media texture. It does become a little bit cluttered, but once you get the hang of it, you should be all right. And we're gonna open this up. And we're gonna check that our video plays. So we're gonna search for how to put 360 on here. And you can see that this is the video, which is excellent. We're gonna close that. And now in our media texture, we're gonna open this up. I'm going to set this to UI, so user interface, set total number of MIPS to zero, and then hit save. Now what we can do is we'll move that there. And now we can actually create a material for it. So again, very same. So we're just going to go M underscore 2D video, just so we can keep these two separate. And in here, we're going to drag in our media texture that we've got created. So it's this one, drop it in. And if you watched the last one, you remember we've got to change this to shading model unlit. 
And we don't actually need to worry about two sided this time because we're not going to see it from the other side. We can rotate it around and we can hit apply. And now in our BP blueprint on our plane, we can apply this material. So I know it's called M underscore 2D video. So we have it on our screen. I think by default, it's going to come in upside down, but we can rotate that and we can scale it so we don't have to worry. And now we need to set up our widget buttons, essentially. So we need to think how we're going to have this communicate because we're going to have our code inside the blueprint. And then we're going to have a widget, which once the button's pressed, it's then going to play the video in the blueprint again. So we've got to do a little bit of a, a confusing thing, but it should be fine. To begin, we're going to start by adding a widget and we want to bring that into the scene. I'm not going to make it apparent because we don't need it to. And I'm just going to move this just in front and down. And um, we don't actually have a widget class to add. So we need to make a widget. I'm going to go with motion controllers and we'll keep it all in the same place. So we'll go user interface, which blueprint WB underscore play video. Hit enter. And we're going to open this up. And all I'm going to do here is actually add a button with a text that says play. And we'll make sure our button is sized to content with our set, our anchor set to center of the screen. And we'll try and position this so it's roughly accurate. Excellent. Change our text color to black. Hit OK. And then what we can do is we can actually select our button and we do on clicked. And if we delete these, we now have the ability to talk to our blueprint and then go from there. So we'll go to compile and save. Now, before we actually hook up our code to this button, I need a custom event in my blueprint, which is going to fire and then set our plane to visible. So once the TV's off, it's actually hidden the video. So to do that, we're going to go to our blueprint TV which we've got created. I'm actually going to delete these. What we're going to do is we're going to create a custom event and we're going to call this start video. If you watched the last video about blueprint communication between widgets or widget to blueprint communication, we're going to actually do that here. So we've got this blueprint is going to talk to our widget and our widget is going to talk back to our blueprint just to make it do something. So to do that, we've got our custom event. So now what that means is we can actually call this custom event inside our widget blueprint button. So this is all going to get a little bit confusing, but hopefully you should be able to keep up with it. So now that we actually have our custom event created, we can go back to our widget blueprint because we're going to cast to it. So we're going to drag off here and we're going to do cast to our BP TV. And we want to actually promote our object to a variable, which is not going to let us do. So we're going to create a new variable and we're going to call this BP underscore TV. And we select our type and we'll change this to actor. Then object reference and we can drag this in, get, and we can plug it into our object. And if you remember, we've got our custom event, we can actually drag off and search start video and you can see now what we're doing is once we press this button we're going to cast to our tv or our blueprint and then we're going to start the video in there so what we need to do now is actually set a reference to our actors because we can't do it in here we can't really select it it's not going to work very well but what we can do is we can actually tell our blueprint to fill this information in our widget again the blueprint, the widget to blueprint communication video will cover this in a lot more depth. So check that out if you haven't already. But what this means now is we need to on begin play, we need to populate that variable. So we're going to go event begin play. We're going to drag off here and we'll do cast to widget blueprint and we will play a video. And because we need an object reference to this, we can actually drag in our widget. We can get user widget get user widget object and we can plug that in there. So now we can set our BP video 
So if I find it, so now we can actually set our BPTV video variable. So set BPTV. See, we've got that there. And we can actually set this to self. So we can drag off here to do so. So what we're actually doing is on begin play, we're casting to our video. So our widget. And then we're just saying that we want to point to this variable or this blueprint. So now we actually have a reference in here, which can then, once we press, can start our video back in the blueprint here. So it's all looking good. Hit compile and save. And now we can actually set up our media stuff to play our video. So first we're going to need a media reference. So let's call this 2D video. And we're going to search this to be a media. And it should look like a little TV. So media player, object reference. And we're going to drag this in and do a get. If we compile, we should actually be able to populate this with our new video. And now what we want to do is actually search open source. Uh, what we're actually going to do is we're going to search. So open source. And we want to do the laden again. So what we're going to do here is actually on begin place. So as soon as the level's loaded, we're actually going to load this video in and keep it till we want to press the button and play the video. So select that options split. And we're actually going to disable these again. So once the, once it starts, nothing actually happens. And you can see now we've got our complete result. So when we start our game or the level, nothing's actually going to play, but we can go to our start video and we could set this to visible, let's say. So by default, our plane will be hidden because we're going to see our TV. And then once we press play, it's going to appear just in front to make it look like it's turned on. So we're going to get a reference to our plane and we're going to set our visibility to true. Need to do some of this stuff in a little bit of a weird order. So we'll keep it like that. But if you think about it, when you press play, you might want to hide the widget because we don't want a button in front of the TV if we're already seeing it. So what we're going to do is we're going to select our widget, drag that in as well. And we're going to do set visibility and we'll set this to hidden. So when our video starts, our button gets set to hidden. We can now get a reference to our button. Uh, we can get a reference to our video. And then we can choose to play it. So when we press our widget button, we set our widget to hidden. We then play our video and we set the screen to be visible. So our plane, we could do a delay if we wanted to, but we don't really need to for this. So we've got to compile and save and now go back to our viewport. So we go to viewport, we can select our widget. And we need to set our widget class to be our play video. You'll see that's coming a bit the wrong direction. So it's upside down. I'm also going to set to, I'm going to also change the draw size. Excellent. And then I'm going to move this down and I'm going to change the size of it as well. So let's do half. And we'll move it forward just so it's not in the way. And tilt it. So now what we can do is we can actually go into our motion control map. We can drag in our TV and you'll see that we can't actually see it because the plane is hidden, but we turn it around. When we simulate, we shouldn't actually be able to see this plane. Excellent. So before we play, what I want to do is make sure I actually have set visibility or visible set to hidden rather than hidden in game. Otherwise we won't actually be able to see anything. The next thing we've got to do is go to media sound and we're going to go to media player, select our source. And now what we can do is we can actually test this in the game or the engine and see how it looks. So I've got a feeling it's either going to be upside down or the wrong way around. So we hit the text block. You see our video plays, which is really good. I think audio is playing through my actual headphones, not the headset. So all we've got to do is rotate around our plane.
file and save with it set to hidden or well visibility set to hidden then we'll double check our media sound that's all good hit save so now we should be able to actually see how big this is and we're going to test this one more time before we put it on the headset because we also need to create while i'm remembering it is a media platform media source so a pms underscore how to put 360 video on quest and then we'll open this up and we're just going to set the android to our source hit save so now if we test it in the headset we can see it plays we've got a big screen and then we can actually build this now to the headset so i'm going to go away i'm going to build it and then we'll come right back Excellent, so I'm in the quest. I'm not too sure why it turns pink for some reason, but in the headset, it's it's not the color that you guys are seeing. So I think that's a side quest thing. But if we go up and then we actually interact with our button, you see the video plays and it's actually pretty sharp based on how close you get. So yeah, that's how easy it is to set up a 2D video with a widget as a play button in Unreal Engine 4. So if we do one last recap, what have we got? We've got one blueprint, which is our TV. We have another widget blueprint, which is our button. And we've got our media files in our videos. I know it's not exactly organized very well, but unfortunately that's how it can play out. So if we open up our TV blueprint, you can see we have our begin play where we get our widget that we've created. And then we set a variable inside our widget saying hey look at me this is the blueprint that you want to talk to which it then talks back through the widget and starts the video after it's already been loaded into memory essentially so we set the widget to be hidden because we don't want to play button there anymore we're only going to press it once we can go to play and then set visibility to the actual tv to show it so if you want to actually stop the media i believe you i believe you could use close so close media and I think that might be able to, if you wanted to have a start, stop button or a rewind, there's all that sort of stuff in here. But for now, I hope this helped at least get set up. Love to see how you're using it in your projects. Um, this file will be available for Patreons to download. I might have to look at removing the 360 video from here though, because it's not mine. So if you want to download this or support the channel in any way, you can either do that by leaving a like, it helps everybody else, subscribe so you don't miss anything, or become a Patreon so you can get access to these files and then jump into the, the Discord server. So until next time, stay safe, and I'll see you then. Bye.